The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together and we knock and we slam on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry, depending on what we're coming across. But uh, most importantly, we have fun while we dork out on some doors. Today, we do have some very special nerds joining us. The Construction Brothers, Tyler and Eddie Campbell here. Why don't you hop on and say hello and tell us a fun fact about yourself. Hello, hello. How's it going, guys? What's up? That was fantastic. <laughs> that was an amazing <laughs> intro. <laughs> and total nerd, yeah. All right, you tell the fun fact about you. You go first. I'm Eddie Campbell. I am the older brother by 13 years. We're real brothers. And I have six kids and people get a kick out of that. So wow, sure. six kids. <laughs> you know this what? economy? You know, I'm going to tell you, inflation hurts right now at the grocery <laughs> store. I, I'm going to be real. It really does. So I did not know that groceries could be that expensive. All right. Well, I am Tyler Campbell. I am the younger brother by 13 years. I have hair, whereas Eddie does not. And I like to pick fun at him for that. Fun fact about me, I got really, really angsty when I was 18 years old and I left home and I got a train ticket. Yeah. So I rode on a train when I was 18 to get away from you, all of my problems. You were a train runaway. Like I was you... a train runaway. Where'd you go? I went to my brother's house, which is the best part of that. It's like, I'm going to get away. Hey, bro. Oh, can I come crash at your place? <laughs> <laughs> It was at our middle brother's place, too. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We appreciate that. You know her. You love her, as always. This is Mia Merrill. Why don't you hop on and say hello? And I think you've got a fun fact prepared as well. I do. Yes. Welcome to this episode of Unhinged. And we're super excited that the Construction Brothers are on. And also check out their podcast. Does it drop every week? Twice a week. Wednesday, Twice a Friday. week. Yeah. Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday, Friday. So, Long episode on Wednesday. Short episode on Friday. All right. So check out their episodes. My fun fact is is that if we are ever in Miami for a conference meeting, whatever, or Fort Lauderdale, I will kidnap you and make you go get Cuban food with me. So if we are ever there for a trade show or whatever, I will find a time to escape and we will all go eat Cuban. What's the dish specifically that you're looking for here? I don't have a specific dish, although it depends on the amount of time I have because I always want a cortadito, which is a coffee, and a pastelito, which is a pastry. But, you know, pretty much anything on their menu. The more hole in the wall the place the better i'm not trying oh, yeah. to go to like you know yeah if there are rats running around on the floor like that's where you want to be that's, that's where it. we're going that's the place i'm down <laughs> i want the coffee <laughs> I want to yeah. know about Cuban coffee. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah. It's so good. All right. Well, how about I tell you all a little bit about my fun fact. So in high school, I thought it would impress girls to write poetry and, you know, be like Emerson and like Whitman and all those great writers of our time. And so I actually wrote like a poem a day for almost like a hundred days. It was kind of crazy. And who would have thought that I'd be in the door hardware industry now after writing poetry as a kid. So you handed in your turtleneck for doorknobs yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw, Did you uh, wear a turtleneck and look very angsty over in the corner, just like pondering things with your pencil? Like just, you know, <laughs> is that was that you in the school? Like just so, mysterious, actually my, dark, bingy. My very favorite place to write was up on my roof. That's pretty angsty, right? Like I that's was, wow. That's punk like, rock territory. Up on my roof and like, you know, pull out my notepad and like get into it. <laughs> What sorts of things would you write about? Life, love? Yeah, life, love, and, and nature. Um, yeah, I was very inspired by Emerson, which was a very, he was a very naturalist writer. So a lot of my more passionate poems were about nature and how we're destroying it and all of that jazz. Wow. That's what about Whitman? Like, wasn't Whitman like Civil Warrior? Yes, he was. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, no. Because he's Ken... the only poet you know. No, no, no. Ken Name Bur one Ken other Burns. poet. Ken Burns in so the Civil War sense. quotes Whitman, like the, the Civil War like documentary that I love. He quotes Whitman a lot. It's a, a lot of it's just like really cool. Okay. Uh, so doors don't know <laughs> how it works. I'm going to share my screen. We'll show a photo of a door fell. We'll comment. We'll rate it. We'll knock it. We'll slam it. Then give it a knocking score. One being not very knocking bad. Ten being the worst. This needs to be taken care of. Are you guys ready? Let me share my screen. I'm so ready. I don't know if you're ready. I do see that no, there, do there is a soon. minor problem that immediately punches me in the face. I kind of want Tyler to pick up on it, though. The hinges? Mild gap. Just 
a little bit of a tolerance issue here. Honestly, I think it's fine though, personally. <laughs> is that a bathroom that it's covering up? It is a bathroom. <laughs> I, I don't see a problem here. Probably cameras in that bathroom that would show more anyway. So yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> Pass it. Pass one. It's good. <laughs> no. <laughs> So you two being construction brothers, the three doors that I have to share with you today are all dealing with construction in some way or another. I guess all doors were dealt with construction in some way or another because they were initially installed. But a lot of the installs that we show are like aftermarket, but this one is new construction. As you can tell, they're in the middle of construction. I have a feeling that somebody's going to put a sticky note on this for uh, going back and maybe making a mild correction. <laughs> somebody's going to put that in Procore. Yeah. That's going to end up in Procore. Picture, put that picture in Procore. Let's punch <laughs> that out. <laughs> it's allowing for ventilation, you know, like it will smell less, worse yeah, in there. It's it, more it's sustainable. I'm very happy that you said that because yes, this is a very sustainable solution for airflow. <laughs> Jack pressure. That's a problem we deal with. No Are stack? they trying to let some more natural light into to the bathroom do you think natural lighting that's been daylighting that's lead credits right there uh daylighting the bathroom Damn. yeah i mean we have bathroom stalls that have worse gaps than this <laughs> this is true so um, it's hard to tell but this door actually latches what that's a little confounding to me how what it actually goes into the strike probably with some maneuvering <laughs> can you get it back out no, can you open it out <laughs> get it there but you're, you're not so, getting out of the bathroom which is the cruel joke of this whole situation yeah so the hinge situation reminds me of that of hospitals you know did they use the wrong hinges on this thing no they're backward you know, no really right? no, no. no. <laughs> you installed them open no crap no but what it looks well, you're like saying stupid stuff so you get stupid back man no i'm not saying stupid stuff i'm just saying it's a completely clear open doorway you know like have the hinges in hospitals open so that the doors are completely out of the way oh so it's like ada too in. yeah it's ada <laughs> So uh, I, called, I had a now. point, you turd. I see your point now. Yeah, so, and, and a lot of the times it is for ADA compliance or to be able to get a, a bed out of a door width or it, a body, you know, or a body. Yeah, or you see it in schools <laughs> sometimes where they'll they'll have a swing clear so the fingers of little kids don't get slammed in doors. You know, over on not on the latch side, and I feel like there's really not a, a pinching problem. It's more like a shearing problem. <laughs> <laughs> the way that it's angled and it's more like a knife. So let's just take the kids' fingers off. It'll be fine. I gotta be honest. Shouldn't have their fingers in there. I'm just glad I saw the problem because there was a little bit of nervousness that I was just gonna look right at <laughs> the picture and be like, what's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> what's bad? There ain't nothing wrong with it. Ship it. Ship it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see about the next one, Eddie. Knocking score or any last final comments on this one. What do you guys think? So 10's gotta be reported, right? This 10's gotta... definite reporting. This is at least a five. I'm hanging my shingle on a one here. I don't see anything wrong with this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this was an architectural decision that needs to be respected. It was modeled that way. Expression. Yes. It's artistic <laughs> expression. Everybody. The, the door is expressing itself. It is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Following the drawings. I'm thinking somebody needs to hear about this one. So, and also I just like doing the opposite of what Tyler does. So I'm going 10. Man, it needs um, to be we're going to be entertaining. It needs to be addressed. I think it's like a three. I'm oh, going to give one scale sucks. I don't think there's like a life safety issue, especially since the building's not occupied. And I give them points that the hardware was installed correctly. That's okay. Not... I'm recalibrating for the next time. <laughs> Do you want to go again? No, <laughs> like... I'm so, I'll hold on to my 10. I'm just saying I'm, I'm going to recalibrate next time. <laughs> I didn't Eddie. know to die because of the door for a 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was bad. You get somebody to look at it. No, I'm with you to a certain extent because it does need to be addressed. It does need to be fixed. Action needs to be taken. And that could qualify for a higher number. I guess with our scales, like a lot of it deals with security, life safety, our big two huge compliant code issues that we deal with often. And there isn't really any issue from a life safety or I guess maybe a security or privacy situation there could be an issue here but for the most part my guess is they threw this up for a little bit of privacy while they're working on the job you got a one and a ten and that equals that we're actually idiots you know what the problem though benji is is like if they threw this up just for privacy on the job site the holes for the hinges like they've like effed this door <laughs> they're gonna have to put a new door in yeah no, i think there's gonna be like any sort of stick note on this one there's definitely a, yes a little punch list item here <laughs> okay with that. ready for the next one if you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, leave a comment down below, or you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com.